When it came to choosing to, to work on The Woman in Black, what was it that drew you both into it? I think just the story. It's a, it's a wonderful classic ghost story with all the ingredients that uh, one could wish for in a scary story that's, uh, that also has an emotional heart and mm. feels like it matters and, and has you it kind of haunts you it's got a haunting quality and you're still looking over your shoulder and still thinking about it a long time afterwards mm -hmm. and uh, I think mm -hmm. we were just really attracted to the idea of adapting that for the screen and did you work together or was it very much that you got hold of the script and wanted to work on it then no no Jane wrote a script I yeah. read the script and really responded to Jane's script and then we kind of worked together um, just sort of developing it a little bit um, it was pretty much there actually but all I did really was we took in through our discussions was stripping some things back really wasn't yeah, it yeah which um, i was you know and just making it more in, keeping it in the present um but really and then even, even through the whole process of making the film i mean it's been very collaborative i mean jane has been throughout the shoot and deeply into the edit incredibly involved in through, through the constant process and mm. it's been it's been actually been a proper collaboration in that regard and it's been a real pleasure do either of you sort of have any apprehension about taking on such a you know sort of iconic ghost story um, I think at the point where, um, it, you know, it's always, I don't know, there's always some apprehension, but I think at the point where Susan Hill gave the script her seal of approval and um, and she's been so supportive throughout, mm. I think at that point you, you have to let those fears go and think, okay, good, I think we've stayed true to the spirit of it and that's, that's mm. what's important. Mm. And how did you set about sort of bringing it to life? Because, you know, the stage version... You know, a lot of the stuff in that people might go to see the film and hope for. What have you sort of done that might incorporate that into it? Well, the the, the film is based on going back to the, the book. Yeah. Um, and so whilst, you know, the play is brilliant, but it's a theatrical mm. device. And so we are using all the tools of filmmaking that you can bring to bear um, to, to create something like this. So there's more scale. Um, there's 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 a, there's a sense in which you know everything in the design of the film, both you know in the in imagery and sound and music, all those things that you can use in proper in terms of a sort of immersive film experience, we've tried to bring to bear in terms of telling this story and telling it as well as we can. And also, I guess, with a sense of immediacy, mm. because um, you know the the framing of the theatre adaptation is very much that it's a story told in a retrospective mm. Mm. way, um, whereas here there's sort of no escape, and I think that's right for that's really, film. That's really true, and you're right there, you're right there with Dan, you know, he's in close-up, yeah. you're with him, you can hear him breathing, you, you're feeling his fear yeah. as, as you go along, so it really takes you there in a real sort of, almost like a documentary sense. What do you want the audience to take away from the experience of having watched the film? Well, I'd love them to have had a really great hour and a half in the cinema, really yeah. scared, really thrilled. Um, you know, moved, moved by the, the story of Dan, you know, and, and his character and, and, and his journey that he's gone on. Um, but mostly scared. Scared, you know. <laughs> Nightmares, perhaps? Yeah. Well, I think that what's good is if the film, the film works, if it can get into people's imaginations, and that seems to be what it's doing. And then, and then that as a horror film, the best horror films for me, the ones that I love are the ones that have lingered. Yeah. You know, um, okay. it's, it's not just about standing behind people and shouting boo. If you can really get into the sort of the marrow of their bones and really work work insidiously in that way, then yeah. I think it's a properly much more rewarding, scary experience. And speaking of Daniel, was he your, your first choice? How was that whole experience of working with Dan? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, Dan was just such a pleasure. Um, he's so smart and so committed and, you know, aware of the challenges and really, you know, just how to make him, you know, a, a totally new... Um, you know, character and to come at it fresh and um, I'm, I'm really proud of what he's done.